Today is Thursday, uh, three days after Prime Day. And this is all the useless stuff I bought on Amazon for Prime Day. Um, I'm not going to talk about everything I got because it's all ridiculous and I shouldn't have bought it, but it's Prime Day, so you're going to buy ridiculous things. I'm going to talk about something specific today, and I'm going to dig through all these boxes and find it, and uh, we're going to talk about it. Pizza's done. Yay. Alexa, stop. Yep. Heard the pizza. Turn that off. Huh. Much better. Alright, so all this useless stuff. Well, okay, it's not useless. Some of it's, uh, you know, it's gonna have its purpose in my life. Um, but all this stuff aside, we're gonna be talking today about uh, specifically this and this brand here, Zomoto. Um, as I talked about in my last videos with the the camera system, um, I told you guys I was gonna do an in-depth in video and I figured this was a perfect time um, to pick this up on Prime Day and then also talk about my Zomoto uh, NVR camera system along with the Zomoto <clears throat> uh, doorbell greet is what they call it so I'm gonna get into that all right now alright guys so here it is this is my new surveillance system um, for you people that watch the channel and have seen the screen before it may not look very different uh, I promise you it is this is an NVR security system network video recorder system basically all these cameras they're hardwired IP cameras they run over um, basically power over Ethernet. Um, in this case, Zomoto uses something specific called SPOE, which is like special power over Ethernet. It's their own proprietary um, type of system. So I'm gonna get all in depth specification wise and show you guys the, um, the app that comes with the Zomoto products. I also have the Zomoto uh, Wi-Fi doorbell. They call it the, uh, they call it the Greet. It's the Wi-Fi doorbell out there. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys all this stuff I'm also going to talk about the Zomoto app, which is really why I'm kind of going this direction. The app itself is is pretty impressive, um, you know, for a cheaper Chinese company. Um, you know, it, it does a very good job. So that's actually what's kind of spun me in this direction. Um, I, I basically I find a company that I like, and I kind of put my faith in that company, and uh, usually end up going that route. So. I'm kind of putting my faith in Zomoto's hands right now. Like I said, there's um, definitely pros, definitely cons. You know, this system has a lot of stuff that needs work, but I see the direction they're going, and I like where they're going. So uh, that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to my Zomoto equipment right now. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna start opening these new things that I got in the Zomoto Pivot, and also show you guys the app, the hardware behind all this. And, uh, and go from there. So let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna take a look in the uh, media rack case here. You guys have seen in previous videos, I'm gonna show you the Zomoto NVR. Um, so for me, this was pretty simple to put in. Um, I had the old Zomoto DVR here, so all the wires were kind of chased and I used the old wire, which obviously uh, was an analog wire, not network, and pulled through and was able to pull through the floors and the conduit, things like that, so very easy for me. But obviously you want to keep in mind with this system, you're going to have to run some wires and, uh, and do some work, but well worth it. All right, so just quickly pulling this out here, um, as you can see, the cameras run over a um, PoE network. Um, it's basically power over Ethernet. Now, um, 
Zomoto calls their system SPOE. I don't know if that's a standard protocol. Someone can answer that for me. But from what I've gathered, um, it is not able to run through like a PoE switch or anything like that. They use their own special version of power over ethernet. So if you guys have a home network, um, I believe that these cameras will not plug into that system into a normal PoE. You need to go indirectly into this DVR, or I'm sorry, NVR, uh, Zomoto brand to make this system work. Now, and I'll be, may be a big deal to uh, most of you out there, people like, you know, myself, where I'm, I know I'm only going to be using these cameras, um, but for some of the more advanced people that want to hook up their own PoE cameras, it's not going to work with this system. So real quick, I will show you guys what the cameras look like themselves. This is the camera installed, obviously, in my living room here. Um, hopefully, you guys can kind of see it's mounted to the wall. The wires run through and run up, and it kind of hides behind this little fake deer head thing. Uh, these cameras are night vision. Um, I don't know much else. They are obviously waterproof, and I don't know the angle, but it's a pretty wide angle. I will show you the uh, the camera um, screen so you guys can get an idea of what the angle looks like. Alright, so here is the screen that you get um, off the DVR itself. It's very good. Um, honestly, it's, it's super high quality. The cameras are everything I expected them to be, being IP HD cameras. So um, definitely, you know, great view, great visibility here. You can see us sitting here, the dog sitting there. <laughs> so, and uh, it's, it's really good. I mean, I don't know how good the camera's picking it up, but I'm able to pretty much read um, license plates on vehicles pulling in and out of the driveway. Obviously, you can see the front yard here. Um, things like that. This is my kind of shed workshop. You can see the bike. This is actually, it's pitch black in there, and the camera is still able to pick up um, everything in pretty good detail uh, to the point where you can see how messy it is in there right now. So, um, yeah, I mean, these are, uh, as far as covering your entire house, um, most cost effective way. I, I don't see how you beat this for 150 bucks. So this has also all the standard features of a normal kind of DVR type system. You can do video searches. Um, so basically I can select the channels I want to see. Uh, you basically hit, of course I'm forgetting now. You hit, oh yes, that's right. Hit the date you want to watch, we'll click here. And it populates the, um, the timeline with footage. So basically, um, you can click this button and see um, what's going on. Now these little orange dots here, these typically mean motion. So uh, obviously whatever day this was, it looks like it was last Friday. Uh, it was pretty rainy, so may get some false trigger in motion. Actually no, so there I am doing some work uh, in the shed. <laughs> and you can see uh, the quality is very, very good. Um, so obviously that being an orange um, part of the timeline, that is motion. So um, it's very easy to kind of skim through this and pick up footage. But uh, where this app, um, I'm sorry, where this system really shines is within the app, which is what I'm going to show you guys next. So here's my phone. Obviously, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So this is the Zomoto app icon right there. You can see it's already telling me that I have notifications. Basically, what those notifications are, are motion events. Um, so this is the app itself, the design, the look, and um, like I said, a big selling point of the Zomoto thing was once I got everything hooked up and downloaded the app, I was very impressed with it. Um, so I will slide over here. So this kind of gives you uh, the ability to see what it looks like when you first open it up. They kind of call it uh, your home, so you're able to click your home, see, you can organize it by rooms, uh, you can organize it by devices, which would I normally keep it on. Um, but it's it's very very intuitive. I'm not going to go too in depth. I just want to kind of give you guys my opinion about the features at all. So real quick, I'm going to walk you through the app. This right here is my front door. As you can see, it kind of shows you a quick snapshot of it. It is not a live snapshot um, until you click it, and then it becomes live. You have the standard features of a Wi-Fi doorbell, doorbell, which basically you can hold it, talk to the outside, release it, and uh, obviously uh, hear what's going on. So you have your mic capability there, you can mute it, 
Also, with this little LD, this has to do with low definition versus high definition. And it always starts out at a low definition, which really, it's noticeable, but not that much. You're able to get the picture of what's going on. If you want to watch a little more detail, click HD. It'll stream in HD. So next here, you can see the other NVR system. So it populates again. This is just a um, quick thumbnail of what's going on. I don't know how often it updates, but it's something like every you know 30 minutes or so. It's not very fast, but uh, it basically gives you an idea of what's going on. If I quit, simply just tap it, it'll pull up a live image of the camera I want to watch. Now the nice thing is with this, I can just slide my thumb across and go down the list of cameras. You are unable to watch all four cameras at once, which is kind of annoying, especially coming from my old DVR system. Um, <clears throat> I was able to pull up all, uh, I said, I don't know if I just said four, eight cameras, sorry, eight cameras at once. Uh, my other system was able to pull all eight cameras at once and in a little window. So that's the only kind of downside with this, but the, the whole idea of being able to just swipe, and I can usually, if I want to go check out the backyard, or you know where the truck is I can do it pretty quick I know that you know uh, right here is the backyard and there it is it loads and again you get that low quality versus HD I click it and instantly it comes HD you can put it into uh, landscape mode and even zoom and see I need to cut my grass <laughs> uh, but super high quality very nice feature up next, I want to show you this little icon up here. This is your remote playback. Now, you can basically go through your calendar just as you did on the actual system um, and scroll through uh, what, what you want to watch. Now, obviously, I got to pick a date that's in the past, not in the future. So we'll go back here. Uh, we will do here. And now you can see it is populated with footage and just as before you get your orange dots or orange dash marks to show you where there's motion now you can see there's a whole bunch of motion going here it's probably just wind um, but it's you know something to, to denote so obviously you know you can see it's daytime there's probably the trees moving around yeah you can see that tree moving uh, you can actually set a mask I haven't masked any of these cameras yet because I've just been too lazy but you can set a mask and minimize the faulty uh, motion warnings. So again, with the um, kind of live playback thing, we'll go back to our front door camera if I hit motion here. Now, this is one of the bigger perks over something like the Ring app. Um, with this, it's not only is it giving you a list of events, but it actually gives you a little thumbnail. So you can see I actually know that that's me walking in. Um, we'll play the video, or sorry, walking out. And it records a little 30 second clip of whatever's happening. You can see, I mean, I can see my, myself pretty good. Where it kind of fails as far as quality goes, it's definitely HD, um, but, and I've seen a lot of other people complain about it, is the light quality of it. If it's in a, a an archway or like my house, a covered front door, the uh, the back light kind of washes out the image, which, uh, which is kind of an issue. I have heard of people kind of tricking it into night mode and fixing that. Um, but for the most part, as far as my door is concerned, once somebody starts walking up to the door, the lighting is just fine and I'm able to see um, the person or the figure or whatever it may be. So that's a quick rundown of this Zomoto app. I am going to get um, the Zomoto Pivot hooked up and kind of show you guys very quickly what it can do as a kind of standalone uh, camera system for your home. Basically, this is designed to sit on a table and work. It can rotate, you can also talk through it, things like that. So we're gonna get this hooked up and I'm gonna show you guys the pivot. All right, so here it is, I got it out of the box. Again, this is not an unboxing video because I think those things are stupid. Anywho, this is the Zomoto Pivot and uh, we're gonna get this thing set up and running with the Zomoto app, so probably don't need that. Probably just need this. Come on, don't make me read the instructions, just work. Oh, it's rotating. That's weird. 
Okay, I think flashing is good. I don't know. Let's see. Ah, as I suspected, it's like uh, any most Wi-Fi devices. It creates its own little Wi-Fi network. I'm going to click it. It's going to connect to it and hopefully walk me through the rest. It's doing it. Ah, sweet. And there it is in my network now, or my Zomoto app rather. So just like before, it's a simple swipe and you can see all of your devices. If I click live, we go live. Now I think, yeah, that's pretty cool. You can use your thumb, I need to work out, and zoom this thing around and I can take a look around the house. Now I'm probably going to end up using this, put it on the uh, living room table to uh, mainly keep an eye on the dog. Obviously I've got all these cameras in, on inside and, and I kind of know what's going on, but at least this, it's Wi-Fi, I can pick it up, move it, say I want to keep an eye on something specific when I leave. Uh, very simple to simply pick up and move around. It's kind of noisy. Like a little robot trash can. So it also has the ability to talk through it, so if I talk to it, it's pretty loud. Oh, all right, we'll stop that. And the other cool feature, I obviously have the smart things network, but it does tell you temperature, which is not 32 degrees. Um, not sure what's going on there, maybe it needs to warm up. <laughs> it is summer, I don't know why it would do that. Uh, humidity tells you humidity and no data. So it's probably gonna take its time, kind of settle in, get going, uh, which is kind of nice. And also it's Bluetooth, so you can actually tap the top of it, pair it, and uh, use it as a mini Bluetooth speaker. Um, I can't imagine the quality is that good. I will never use it for that, but uh, something to note. And the last thing is these little uh, contact sensors. Oh wait, it's moving. Ooh, I wonder if I just did something. Anywho, these little contact sensors um, are supposed to go on a door or a window or an area you want to protect. And apparently when this is triggered, you can go in and tell the camera where that is in reference to where the camera is, and it will go and look at it. So uh, a little smart camera action for the Zomoto Pivot. Before I end this video, I do want to show you the doorbell camera itself so you at least have an idea of what this looks like. All right, you guys, that's pretty much it for my whole Zomoto surveillance video uh, video. Yeah, um, again, this company kind of, uh, I think they're going in the right direction and I think that's saying something. Like I said, you know, there's plenty of companies out there that just kind of, they're happy to give you what they got and uh, don't really care about innovating and coming out with new products and things like that. Especially these Chinese companies, they're always just kind of giving you, you know, uh, really standard applications, not really um, anything special going on there. So uh, Zomoto is definitely taking it in the right direction. Uh, like I said, you know, is the quality uh, near ring quality as far as uh, doorbell and things like that? No. But where they're going, I, I'm putting my faith in their company and, and uh, I think it's going to be a, a good product down the line. Especially. It's uh, something to, to note and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe, comment because I'm trying to be more on top of responding to your comments and questions and, and things like that. So definitely do that and I promise I'll, I'll get back to you guys. So other than that, have a good day. We'll see you in the next one.